Eight months after her divorce, Judith was finally coming into her own. One evening at a local bar, a tall stranger with a big smile walked up and asked her to dance. His name was Gary Ridgway. We danced to the country western music, and that was fun and nice. Later on, as the evening went by, he kind of bent down and kissed me. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> In the months that followed, Judith and Gary got to know one another. Gary was so kind and gentle and attractive, always smiling and pleasant. He never got angry. Gary was practically perfect, except for that nasty scarring on his right arm. I asked him about the scars on his arm. He had told me that um, he was working on a car and it caught on fire and burned his arm. And I uh, felt bad for him because it was pretty painful. It did not look good. Judith accepted Gary's explanation and thought no more about it. Just a few months later, Gary surprised Judith by asking her to live with him. He invited me to move in his house. And then I remember saying to him, well, I've got a lot of furniture. And Gary's house needed a woman's touch. After all, half the carpet in the bedroom had been ripped out and never replaced. He invited her to go with him to the carpet store and he asked her opinion on color and style of carpet and, and of course she was she was delighted to do it. As odd as the ripped carpet was to Judith, she was thrilled her boyfriend wanted her help in making a home together. She would just look at him with them eyes and you know that she loved him. This was her man, you know. 